applies for cases by one million population. Now, what I want us to do is to um, create a conditional um, column. So the idea here is we want to categorize this um, column here that we have cases by one million population. We want to categorize it by by status. So, for example, I want to give that if this country has a low COVID-19 status, a medium or high status, or high status, yeah. So, to do this, I would also create a new, and you can see here that I have um, this function now. So, for this now, for, for almost all, um, or probably all conditional statements you use is that you have to start anything than each statement. So I'll do just go over my steps initially also, and then I'll create a new column also, and I'll name this COVID. Sorry, COVID nineteen status. Yeah, and then for this, so the logic I want to use for this is um, I want to say if a country has between zero and one thousand cases. That's what so I'm using now. Mind you, I'm using not them to talk cases of population. I'm using this one we just created now as cases per one million population. So I want to say on this column here now, if you are between zero and one thousand, I want to categorize you as low. So in our uh, definition, that means this is a low. This has got a low incidence of COVID nineteen. Then if you're between, um, I'd say, um, three five, three thousand five hundred. And then, um, yeah, then I'll categorize you as a, as a medium, as a medium, yeah. And then else, I'll categorize you as I. So I can explain that again. So basically, I'm saying that if you have, um, if your cases per world population in the country is between zero and 1,000, I want to categorize you as low. Yeah, and then if you're between 1,000, and then 3,500, I want to categorize you as medium. And then if you're above 3,500, I want to categorize you as I. So basically what this means is for countries that have in between 1 and 1,000 cases, I would, I would tame them to mean that they have low incidence there. And if you're, if you're over 1,000 or less than 35, I'll categorize you as medium. And then if you're over 35, I'll classify, I'll classify the country as having high incidence rate of COVID-19. That's the logic there now. So to do this now, start my my DAX with this if statement. If so, the first thing now is I want to check if you are less than one thousand. I'm checking on the cases per one million population column, mind you. I say if cases per one million population is less than or equal to one thousand. So you can see how DAX and um, how that gives you a prompt of the sequence of formula you have to type in. It asks you what's the logical test. So my test is I want to check if it's by one million people is less than one thousand. And then if that's the case, what do I want to be my results if true? So like I explained earlier, I want this to say that this country or these countries have low incidence rates. Now in the next um, um sequence now is a comma also. Mind you, there's a comma after logical test so there's a comma after result if true so i type a comma again now and it asks me for my result before so this is if you don't meet this condition what should power bi do now i want this to nest another if statement where i can classify for medium and for i so under my result if false instead of just adding a, a statement they'll say result if false now because I'm, I'm categorizing by three um, different conditions as low medium high I have to use a nested if statement. So I would say again, if cases by one million people is less than or equal to 3,500, comma, ask for my result if true. Now I say I want these guys. So basically, what this means is that if you are between, if you're higher than 1,000, you're lower than 3,500, I want to categorize you as having medium incidence rate. Yeah, and I have a comma now. And for our final statement, now it says if our logical statement, so our conditional doesn't meet these two conditions, now what happens? So that means that you are both above 1000 and above 3500, and then I want to categorize you as having high, high incidence rates. 
So I'm going to categorize this as a high. And then close the bracket for the first one. That's our nested if statement. You can see how Power BI gives you a prompt here to show you which of the brackets you're closing. Then I close again, and you can see that my old statement is closed now. And I click enter. Yeah, so you can see how it categorizes all countries. So you can see the United States here has a high incidence rate, it's medium for Russia, and it's low for China because China has an it's a thousand it's a thousand confirmed cases for it's over one billion citizens yeah and you can and you can just play with a quick visual to see how this looks here so i'll take this off remove this i'll remove this this came from the previous stuff i was working on so now i'll say i want to see table visual here and I want to have all my countries showing as my values. Expand this a little. And then I want to add the filter for status I just created as COVID-19 status now. So on this filter here, I also add a COVID-19 status. So that's this guy here. And then you can filter. So on my tables, I want to show all um, um, values as cases for each one million in population. I had this underneath country here, you can see it showing here. Yeah. So right now it's um, it's arranged um, alphabetically. It starts from the first country, Afghanistan, and it goes down now. Now I I want to be able to visualize the different status. So for example now. Let's say what countries have by our own by our own classification, what countries qualify as having a high incidence rate for COVID-19. So you select this one year, and you can see very easily the ones that you have. You have Andorra, Bahrain, Belgium, Iceland, Italy, Spain, UK, and the United States of America. You can see the ones that have low incidence rates also. You have Afghanistan, Azerbaijan. Aruba, Bulgaria. Yeah, so this brings me to the end of our first um, auto series here. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. And then try to um, recreate our process and share with us. And then you can see how you've done this also. Thank you very much for listening. Um, I can